I, I'm, I'm deep down a, a scientist and I want to make sense of the world. And so looking at the way brains function and the, the neuroscience is going so fast and so wonderfully at the moment, it's really exciting. I mean, most of my life it's been, it's been really slow. <laughs> um, uh, and what I'm seeing there, the mystery of consciousness. And it's really a mystery, and I give lectures called The Mystery of Consciousness. It's a mystery in the sense that we don't even know how we should be thinking about it or what we're looking for. That is a kind of indicator that there's something deeply wrong with what we're doing. The whole hard problem of consciousness seems to me, it, it can't, there can't really be a hard problem. I mean, a hard problem you could solve. The hard problem is an indicator that we're completely and utterly confused about the whole thing. So, why? Because it appears dual. It appears there's a brain that we can study and we can look at and so on. And then there's this. How on earth can this be or be related to or be produced by? Or what, I mean, every, every, any word you use is going to throw you into a, a muddle and a confusion because dualism does, doesn't work for any number of reasons that have been explored over thousands of years. How can it be then? Understandably, science has ignored to try to push away consciousness because it's too difficult. And a whole lot of spiritual people do what I call consciousnessism. Instead of materialism, they'll do consciousnessism. Oh, push away matter. You know, I, neither works. So here's a big clue to me, a big clue that science, the neuroscience is telling us we've got something fundamentally wrong. Somehow this has got to be all one and we can't see how. Well, that's only the same endeavor that goes on in, in the meditation practice of seeing that it feels as though I'm over here and the world's out there, but it can't be, you know? And um, that encourages me to keep going with both. And that's essentially what I'm trying to do. Struggle on with the problem of dualism in science, struggle on with the problem of dualism as it keeps arising within experience. And I think in the end, they're the same problem. And somehow, uh, but I'm not gonna just go, oh, it's a mystery, well, stop there. No, I'm gonna go, the thing about mysteries is you wanna have a go at them. <laughs> Even if you, you know, get like the number of wrong paths I've gone on the way, I could, you know, I couldn't count them. There are too many, but you know, mystery is the, is the wonderful um, spur to carrying on. Uh -huh.